Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, teacher, and you? Excellent, Veronica. I'm fine also. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay, today we have to finish section four because for Thursday, you have to have complete section four and the 50% of section five. So today we're going to complete section four and tomorrow we are going to start section five. Yesterday, we talked about countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, and today, the topic is frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Adriana Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Always ready, right? Um, Ana Mercedes. Claribel Esmeralda. Daniel Oswaldo. Dora Stephanie. Ay, ok. Dora Stephanie. Ok. Eloisa Abigail. Gloria Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. Henry Oswaldo. Present. Okay. Jacqueline Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Jonathan Humberto. Jose Angel. Present, present, present. Okay. Catherine Stephanie. Present. Excellent. Ahí en el chat escribió un compañero. Jonathan. Okay. Kimberly. Lorena. Yeah. Okay. Are you there? Lourdes, Paola. Mario Antonio. Present. Okay. Marvin Alberto. Romeo Antonio. Present. Ok. Ruth del Carmen. Present. Excelente. Verónica Elizabeth. Present. Excelente. Víctor Manuel. Xiomara. Ah, ok, Victor. Present. Excelente, Xiomara. Y Catherine Jamilet. She's not here today. Catherine Jamilet. Present. Ah, ok. 
no lo había visto. Eh, Marvin, Lourdes, Kimberly, ¿no? Eloisa. Present. Ok. And Claribel. Ana Mercedes, present. Ya yes, Ana Mercedes. Ya la había tomado en cuenta. Ok. Ok, the first topic. Well, the topic of today is frequency adverbs. Ok, frequency adverbs, as its name said, it is to talk about frequency, how many times you do or something, or you do some activity, or you don't do some something or some activity. Okay, mm, these are the most common frequency adverbs, and they have like a percentage of the times that you do uh, the activity. Okay, for example, if you 100% of the time, so it means all the time, okay, you are going to use the adverb always, okay, always. 90%, okay, entonces a veces no, no las hace todas, okay, 90% sería usually, usually. 70% often, okay, often. Como un promedio. 50% sometimes. Sometimes. 10% hardly ever. And 0% never. Ok, tenemos hardly ever and rarely. Hardly ever and rarely. And uh, never 0%. Ok. Here we have some examples. Okay, uh, Ana Mercedes, could you read the first example with always, please? Uh, you are always late. You are always late. Yes, thank you. Eloisa, usually. Eloisa, eh, Caterina Vilés, hello people, Ruth Villeda, eh, usually, yes, we usually go to the cinema on Sunday, yes, correct. Que Romeo, often. Uh, they often cook a pizza. <laughs> okay, you have to read, but your example is correct. Okay, uh, he often cooks pasta. Decía nuestro ejemplo. And Romeo applied as you uh, often go Eat pizza. Oh, how was your your sentence, Romeo? Say again. They, of, uh, they often cook pizza. Okay. They always cook pizza. Cook, cook, in este caso. Porque es plural. They always cook pizza. Okay, for sometimes, Jose Miguel, Jose Angel. I sometimes eat pupusas. Okay, yes. Eh, Catherine is Stephanie. Hardly ever. Catherine. There are never uh, I at house will. 
Um, with my father. Sería este ejemplo el que vamos a leer. Oh, okay. She hardly ever smiles. She hardly ever is funny. Smiles. Well. Smile. Uh -huh. okay. Es que ese sería el ejemplo que estamos ahí. Ahorita estamos leyendo uh -huh. the examples. Okay. okay. And with never Jacqueline Beatriz. They are never at home when we call. Okay, yes, they are, they are never at home when we call. Y entonces de esta manera irían los frequency adverbs desde que nunca lo hace o lo ha hecho hasta that you always do, okay, all the time, the 100% of the time. Okay, for positive statements, okay, we have the, this structure. We're going to start with the subject, okay, como los que vemos ahí, you, we, he, she, they. Okay, subject, then you're going to write the frequency adverb, que sería always, usually, often, sometimes. Hardly ever, rarely, and never. And uh, uh, the last part, they're going to be the verb, or it's going to be the verb. We have two types, okay, two types of sentences or um, questions. En el siguiente, Vamos a utilizar, no vamos a utilizar otro verbo que no sea el verb to be. Tenemos las dos maneras. Okay, we have the, the two ways. Okay, with a frequency adverb and a verb or subject verb to be. En este caso, ese sería nuestro verbo principal. No vamos a poner otro verbo en la oración, sino que vamos a indicar estado o que está en cierto lugar. Um, luego del verb to be iría el frequency adverb. The frequency adverb. Um, questions? No. En este, en cualquier verb to be, este se puede poner el pero ver el are, o un ejemplo va. Eh, ahí dice you are, they are, pero puede ser she is, we, we are. Yes, yeah. yes, correct. It depends of the subject. Recuerda que en este caso, como son oraciones libres for you to practice, que you can use eh, whatever, okay? cualquier, cualquier subject. Okay, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. More questions? Uh, o sea que se puede two form. No. De la two form. Okay. So here we have the frequency adverbs or the adverbs of frequency okay, the grammar lo que les decía iniciamos con subject luego pondríamos el frequency adverb okay, y al final the complement um, but if you see sometimes can change of position sería el único de los frequency adverbs que podríamos cambiar de posición. Okay, we can use it at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, al inicio de, de, de la oración. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Y también no les aparece ahí, pero también lo podríamos agregar at the end of the sentence. I eat breakfast with you sometimes. Ok. Yes or no? 
Solo ese sería, ¿verdad? Sí, solo sometimes es el que tiene, puede tomar diferentes posiciones. Only sometimes. Ok. Los demás siempre irían después del sujeto, después del subject. Y, well, let's do examples. Ok. Give me one example using frequency adverb. A frequency adverb. Okay, I always listen to music. Okay, I always listen to music. Le faltó un poquito más de complement. Cuando? When I go to the park. When you go to the park, okay. Recuerden que eh, vimos algunas palabras que nos podrían marcar el tiempo porque estamos usando el simple present tense. Entonces hay ciertas palabras que eh, nos van como a ayudar o a dar la pauta para saber el qué tiempo, qué tiempo verbal estamos utilizando. Ok, give me more examples. Please. Okay, I never drink coffee for dinner. Ok, you never drink coffee for dinner. Ok, excellent. More examples. Or are you typing? I always wake up at 4 a.m. Except it's Saturday and Friday. Okay. I always wake up at 6 a.m. 4. 4 a.m. Except uh, Saturday and Friday and Sunday. Okay. Yes. So the same for me. 4 a.m. every day. Okay. More examples. Todavía hay varios que no han dado su ejemplo. Are you thinking? I often I... view TV at night. I often? View TV at night. Watch. Watch TV at night. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, Dora. Dora, Stephanie. She never go with, with mom. She never go. Oh, okay. okay. Call. Go. Okay. She never call with mom. Ah, she never call her mom. Possessivo. Her, her mom. mom. Mm -hmm. She yes. never call her mom. Yes, correct. Okay, give me two more examples. Two more examples. Hurry up. I always take a shower uh, in the night. At night. At night. Uh, okay. At night. Yes, correct. Okay. I'll, I always uh, take a shower. Or take a bath. Shower. Okay. Take a shower at night. Okay. One more. I often drink bread in the morning. Okay, primero Lorena, and then I think it was Henry. Okay, Lorena. At the beach. Mm, I can hear you.
for your heart, I often dance uh, up on the beach. Mm, ok, casi no la escuché, solo I, I always. Yes? Well, so these are examples using frequency adverbs. And now let's do the next part. Okay, here are the frequency, oops, sorry. Okay, this is clear, está claro como están distribuidas? Yes? Yes. Okay, now for questions. Okay, for questions, vamos a utilizar auxiliary do or does, depending of the subject. Okay, dependiendo del sujeto que vamos a utilizar, así vamos a modificar nuestro auxiliary. Then, you are going to use a frequency adverb. In this case, the question is with ever. Okay ever is not classified as, as a frequency adverb, sino que este es más como alguna vez. It's more about experience. Okay, if you remember the conversation from yesterday, okay, they were talking about to try fish on the breakfast. Okay, como, y, y, y ella dijo que Era algo que nunca había hecho. And she uh, tried to new things. She tried new things. Entonces, estamos hablando de como de su primera experiencia. Por eso utiliza ever. Pero sí podemos utilizar también the other frequency adverbs. Aquí está, en la parte de abajo. Okay, we have a question using uh, the auxiliary, do or does, the subject, and the frequency adverb. But, eh, así como teníamos oraciones, con un verbo diferente al verb to be, también tenemos questions que podrían ser con el verb to be. Y en este caso, eh, seguiría la estructura que tenemos aquí, esta de acá. Que does, el auxiliary, he, subject, often, eh, frequency adverb, cook. Ok, another verb. Does he often cook? Okay. Are you always late? Que ese sería para el caso de las questions, que podrían ser de estos dos tipos. Ok, now, can you think in some examples, more examples? The questions. Hello? Sí. Hey. Question. Sí, auxiliary. Empezamos con auxiliary. Auxiliary. Subject. A ver, por ahí les puse la, la estructura. Give me examples, please. Oh my God, I, no one has an example. Are you often dance? En ese caso, como nuestro verbo sería dance, 
Vamos a usar auxiliar. Repeat the question, please. Are you often dense? No, with auxiliary. ¿Cuál sería el auxiliar que corresponde para el sujeto you? Do you. Do you. Ok, do you. Do you often dance? Ok, do you often dance? Ok, vamos a ver. ¿A quién se la va a preguntar? ¿De quién quiere saber? A nadie, ok. She is not curious. Okay, give me, Adriana, give me your example, please. Question. Yes, question. Do you do you often clean your bedroom? Do you often clean? Okay. Eh, en este caso el verbo sería más como clean up. Do you often clean up your bedroom? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Yes. Henry, your example. Do you work here? Y el frequency adverb. Do you work here in the morning? Do you always, for example, do you always work here? Que recuerde todos los componentes que debe de llevar la pregunta. Xiomara. Do you, do you always walk in the morning? Okay, do you always walk in the morning? Yes. Uh, Victor Manuel? Victor? Ana Mercedes? Um... Do, do you usually go to the gym at, in the morning? Okay. Do you usually go to the gym in the morning? Okay. Yes. Correct. Okay. Uh, Jose Angel. Do you often go work to work? Do you often go to work? Work. Walk. Ah. Uh, yes. Do you of do you often go? Podría ser for a walk or do you often go for walks? In plural. Okay. Rob Mail. Do you often ride a bike? Do you... Ok. Aquí sería más con ever. Do you ever ride a bike? Because we are talking about experience. Yes? Yes. Ok. Siento que no está muy claro. Siento que están dudando mucho en las preguntas. Are you sure it's clear? Yes, yo hay a question. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sabes cuándo está, eh, o sea, cuándo va a llevar el auxiliar y cuándo no? Va de, va de. Es igual que cuando vimos el uso del verb to be. Si el verbo principal en mi oración es el verb to be y recordemos que el verb to be lo utilizamos 
para estados. Okay. How are how, how are uh, how are you or how a person is? Okay, happy, sad, excited, eh, sleepy. Okay. ¿Cómo está esa persona? Okay. Ese sería un significado. But eh, the, the, the other para el verb to be es de estar en un lugar. To indicate a place. Entonces, si sí, el objetivo, por decirlo así, de mi pregunta es averiguar una de esas dos cosas, si no voy a poner otro verbo más, o sea, algo que implique acción, sino a, me refiero más al estado, quiero saber el estado de esa persona o dónde está esa persona, Ok, entonces ahí voy a usar verb to be only. But eh, if I want to know uh, about an specific activity, sobre una actividad, obviamente va a requerir que yo haga algo como un verbo de acción. Si incluimos un verbo de acción en nuestro... Eh, en nuestra question o en, en nuestra sentence, que ahí vamos a usar el auxiliary. Yes or okay. no yet. O sea, en pocas palabras, si tengo un verbo u otro verbo que no sea el verb to be, o sea, cualquier verbo que me indique acción, yo Voy a usar eh, do or does. Si no implica un movimiento, una acción, to say something, okay, entonces sería un stated verb. Y no utilizaríamos solamente el verb to be. Teacher, una consulta, por ejemplo, si yo digo, o oh, no sé si está correcto, are you always hungry? O tengo que ponerle otro enlace entre el, entre el always. No, no, no una así vez estado. Yes, are you always happy? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Así estaría mm. bien. ¿Ya es para los demás también? Está no, claro? que estaríamos hablando que todos los verbos como eh, cantar, jugar, bailar, todos esos sí irían con el do. Yes, correct. Todos los verbos que no sí. es el verb to be, o sea, am, um, is y are, vamos a utilizar auxiliares. Hoy sí, hoy sí ya, ya veo que está un poquito más claro. No questions? No question. Vaya, so let's do the exercise. Okay, first here on the manual. Es que como solo me puse uno, pude haber dejado la caja ahí. And then on the book. Hey, Jonathan. Vamos a hacer las que están acá. Mire, dice, put the adverbs in the correct place. Que okay, en el primero tenemos usually. What do you usually have for breakfast? Esa sería la number one. Jonathan, ¿cómo quedaría la number two? Jonathan. Yes, Romeo, thank you. Well, I often have coffee, cereal, and you. Yes, correct. I often have coffee, cereal, and 
use. Okay, no, uh, next, uh, Ana Mercedes, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Excellent. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Okay, great. Next, Henry. Henry. Gone sometimes. I sometimes eat dinner for pasta. Okay, I sometimes have a dinner for a I sometimes have ¿Cuál me está diciendo? Perdón, pensé que los de abajo era. <laughs> bueno, pero Ajá. Uh -huh. I have sometimes breakfast my at my desk. O no. I Again? Sí, esa es. Repeat. I have sometimes breakfast at my desk. Okay. En esa, en esa, perdón, teacher, en esa oración, como el sometimes puede ir en cualquier posición, ¿verdad? Podría mm -hmm. haber respondido, sometimes I have breakfast at my desk. Yes, correct. También lo podríamos haber dejado al final. Al final. Eh, creo que esa opción no se la dan, pero sí. I es have válido. breakfast. Uh -huh, I have breakfast at my desk sometimes. Uh -huh. okay. O como la dijo Henry, I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Okay, next. Dora, Stephen. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Yes, excellent. Do you usually um, eat rice for breakfast? And the last one will be for Jessica. The microphone. Jacqueline? No, I hardly ever have rice. Yes, correct. I hardly ever have rice. Okay, now let's do the examples of all the exercises from the platform. Bueno, todo esto ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Es lo que acabamos de estar viendo. Now let's do the exercises. Este sí lo hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? Yes, go. Ok, so today is this. Unscramble the sentences. Ok, a volunteer for number one. Uy. A volunteer. Uh, tengo la duda de cómo se pronuncia la última frase de hardly ever. No sé si hardly, se pronuncia así. Hardly bien. ever. Así está bien. Hardly ever. Okay. I hardly ever eat the snacks at the work. Ok. Number two. I eat sometimes pasta for dinner. Okay. I eat sometimes pasta for dinner. Okay. Vamos a ver. Let's see. 
next boy. I often have dinner with my family. Dinner. Yeah, I often have dinner with my family. Okay, let's see. La última la regalo. <laughs> but don't say it. Tal vez no la vieron. No todos la vieron. No todos la vieron. It was too fast. Ay, hey, no quiere cargar. Pero digamos que sí están correctos. I say they are correct. And let's see. Okay, the last activity. Ah, uh, here, this part. Mealtime habits. Okay, we are going to make questions to our classmates. And for example, I would say, Catherine, I believe, do you usually eat eggs for breakfast? Si yo le pregunto eso, give me your answer, please. I am not usually eat for breakfast. I, uh, vaya, como, ¿cuál era la característica de las preguntas que llevaban do or does? O sea, ¿cómo se clasificaban o cómo se llamaban ese tipo de preguntas? No se acuerdan, que habían dos tipos de preguntas. ¿Qué hay los demás? En general, va para todos la pregunta. O sea, un tipo, sí me acuerdo que era la WH question. Pero no es esa. ¿Y el otro tipo? No, ahí sí está difícil. Ya está difícil. ¿Cómo dijo el teacher? Vaya. Eh, veamos la primera pregunta, dice, do you usually eat, eh, y bueno, yo le pregunté, do you usually eat, ya ni me acuerdo, eggs at breakfast, okay, y ella me contestó, I usually eat, eh, no me acuerdo exactamente, pero me contestó eh, así, I usually eat, vaya, ya dijo Romeo que, One type of question is the double H question. Yes. ¿Y cuál es el otro? Tipo de... ¿Cuál? No. Un auxiliar, dice. Ajá. ¿Pero cómo se le llama a ese tipo de preguntas? Reprobado. Bueno, yo no quería tomar estas medidas, pero no. Yes, no questions. Preguntas de sí o no o preguntas cerradas en español. Y en inglés es a yes, no question. Cuando utilizamos auxiliaries y dijimos que nuestra respuesta podía ser only yes o no. No una pregunta abierta como las double H questions. Vaya, entonces, si yo pregunto, do you usually eat? Uh, eggs at breakfast, ¿cómo podría ser su, pre su respuesta? No, yes, I do. Ajá, correcto. Solo puede ser yes, I do, or no, I don't. Okay, eso sería para las, las que llevan auxiliary. Because they are, they are, they are yes, no questions. Luego que haga la, la primera eh, respuesta corta, podemos añadir información. Entonces, por ejemplo, do you usually eat 
eggs for breakfast? No, I don't. Ya respondemos con yes or no. Y luego, I usually, ahí sí, podemos, pero agregando. Pero no como nuestra primera respuesta. Que okay. I usually eat uh, tamales for breakfast. Or pupusas for breakfast. ¿Ok? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Vaya, si les vuelvo a preguntar, espero que se acuerden. Vaya, Yo solo oh. escuché pupusas. <laughs> Solo eso se va a acordar. Teacher, en el caso de esa primera, si la respuesta va a ser negativa, pero la quiere hacer como más amplia, puede usar otro adjetivo, no otro adverbio, perdón. Como, por ejemplo, ahí le está diciendo que es usually, Ajá. pero le dice no, I never, o I... Yes, correcto. Ah. También, también podría ser así. No, I never eat eggs for breakfast también también podría ser así excelente Ana Mercedes uh, una consulta para o sea por eso de, de la cómo se llama o sea de qué tan seguido es para decir sometimes solo se dice sometimes o se le añade algo no only sometimes cómo así o sea, porque en las demás es I never y... mm, No. O sea, sometimes es el frequency adverb. Así. I sometimes, por ejemplo, si voy a contestar con I sometimes eat eggs for breakfast. O sea que, por decirlo así, sometimes se podría ocupar Así solo, o sea, como respuesta rápida o se podría ocupar en una oración rápida, o sea, una oración un poquito más larga. Ah, ya, no, no, ya la entendí. No, eh, pensé que era en general. <risa> en general, pensé que era el uso del sometimes in general. Pero sí, o sea, primero, es lo que les decía, primero contestamos con yes, yes or no, en el caso de nuestras yes no questions. Y luego podemos ampliar, luego puede ampliar su respuesta, como para no ser tan cortante. Eh, vaya, veamos el siguiente ejemplo. Do you ever eat meat for dinner? ¿Qué, ¿Cuáles podrían ser las respuestas ahí? Give me examples. Give me examples. Como dijo teacher que no escucha bien. Do you ever? Ya está, ya se me olvidó cuál era. Do you ever eat meat for dinner? I don't. No, I don't. No, I okay. no, no, I don't. I don't. Y luego ampliamos. Podría ser, así como nos dijo Ana Mercedes, I usually eat. Y luego. Fry. Beans and fried plantains. Beans and fried plantains for dinner. Ok, yes, correct. Así sería. Vaya, veamos otra. Um, Dora, what is something you never eat for lunch? Perdón, ¿cómo dijo? What is something you never eat for lunch? Never eat. O sea, 
Ayúdenle, José. What is something you never eat for lunch? I, I never eat for lunch beans. Okay. Even in soup. With... Uh, with con huesito de cerdo. No. Rice. Masitas, rice. Oh, my God. You are not Salvadorian, Jose. Okay. Next. Okay, last. The last one, because we have to move to another part. Uh, Xiomara, do you ever go to a restaurant for breakfast? No, I don't. Okay. I usually breakfast in my house. Okay, great. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Muy bien. Then we have the reading. I think is the last exercise for the section. I it. I sometimes eat. eat. Mm -hmm. Hasta ahorita cargo. Ahí están. Y the last exercise, the reading. This one. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about you will On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Okay. Read and select the words, the word that completes each sentence. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, sweet, or acid. Round. Yes. Okay. Round like years. Some Jewish people eat apples with a coin hmm? a coin no no tenemos syrup candy or honey some jewish Jew, jewish people eat apples with honey honey, honey. honey. yes no me aflijan Number three, Greeks eat basilopita bread with a coin. I see. A coin inside. So you have to be very careful because you have to take care of your teeth. Number four, imagine Spine. a coin. Spine. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. In Spain, people eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. Rice. Okay, read the complete sentence, please. Okay, Japanese eat a rice cake for strange in the new year. Yes. And the last one. Some Americans eat black black eight peas. Black eight peas are like coins. Okay. No, the black eyed peas in la, eh, el, no el grupo musical, no the musical group. Okay, yes, they are correct. Okay, this is the last exercise for section four. Tomorrow we are going to start section five because for Thursday you have to complete or finish section four in the 50% of section five. Yes? Questions? Questions. Ah, I have one more thing for you before you go. With all my love. Um, these exercises. Okay, you have to pick the correct sentence. We can do, I think, one or two exercises, and then you can complete at home. Uy, ya, ya les regalé otra vez. Ya me va a regañar Romeo. Vamos, vamos. Menos mal que no se dio cuenta. No se va a acabar. Bye. Es que estaba viendo el link. Number one. Which sentence is correct? Or teacher is often late, or teacher is only an example. Or teacher often is late, it's often or teacher late, often or teacher is late. B. La B. Okay. Never we eat fast food. We eat never fast food. We eat fast food never. We never eat fast food. D. D. Mm. Okay. My father doesn't hardly ever watch football on TV. My father watches hardly ever football on TV. My father watches football on TV hardly ever. My father D. hardly ever watches football on TV. D. 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 Yes. Do often you go to the cinema? Do you often go to the cinema? Do you go often to the cinema? Do you go to the cinema often? B. B. B, B or D? B. 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 Yes. Okay. And uh, the last one. He usually doesn't go to bed late. He doesn't go to bed late usually. He doesn't usually go to bed late. Does he go usually late go late to bed? Hey. Hey, he usually doesn't go to the to Are you sure? Yes. Okay. En esta check answers. Vaya, solo vamos a hacer el primero y luego los demás lo hacen ustedes. The next pages. Vamos a, a ver si están correctas. Al final dice check answers. Ahí ve. Pero 
Pero ahorita no se las pongo porque si no me van a regañar que estoy compartiendo las respuestas. Ok, only let me check attendance one more time. Claribel. Marvin. Lourdes. Present. Hi, Marvin. Lourdes. Hi. Lourdes, Lourdes, a la one, a la two, a la one, two, three, no. Kimberly. No. And Claribel. No. Okay, so that's all for today. See you tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, be on time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you. Goodbye.